title of an epic tale. It's going to be an Oscar-winning, BAFTA-nominated production, hopefully with a nice beginning, middle, and end. But it needs a title. So, what is the title of this? Blue Bells and Cubes. What's that one? Marigold's Blue Bells and Cubes. Marigolds, bluebells, and hue. Like that one? Are you asking what a marigold is? <laughs> what is it? We'll get there together. <laughs> They're kinds of flowers, AJ. Uh, the title of this epic tale is Marigolds, Bluebells, and Hue. Can I have a round of applause for Marigolds, Bluebells, and Hue? Yeah. Yeah. Hugh? <laughs> <laughs> Hugh, you, you're picking the flowers again, Hugh, aren't you? Mother, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you hiding in the trees? I'm not hiding in the trees, you just need to turn around. Oh. <laughs> Say, Mama. Hugh, you've made me come outside. You know I do not like to be outside in the sunshine. I'm sorry, Mother, but I, I was picking some flowers. You told me to, you know, have a good day, so I did. I did tell you to have a good day. I was hoping you would do that within the confines of the house. I'm sorry, Hugh, I don't mean to be aggressive. But I just, I'm only, you know, it's not too far out. What's so dangerous about this forest, Mama? <laughs> What's so dangerous about this forest, Mama? <laughs> The world, yes. The world's the one part of it, you. Okay, you're a delicate little flower yourself. Look at you. I am not delicate. I am big and strong, and I could take down a wall with my bare uh, hands. Hands is not here anymore. I told you not to bring up hands anymore. You know how I get with my emotions, Hugh, and I'm trying to keep it together. Hans was my friend. You think you were not hurt? I think I was not hurt. <laughs> you think, sorry, you think I was hurt? <laughs> so when I think of Hans, <clears throat> I have to bury it in the emotion. We used to pick the flowers here. I know you did, and then what happened to him? <laughs> Under my watch. He was eaten by a wolf. <laughs> Not just one wolf, several wolves. He was torn apart. Yeah. Limb from limb. Yeah, say it. Like when you hold a flower and yeah. you take off all of its petals, but instead it's... It's a little boy, yeah. <laughs> You, it was a little boy and now he's gone and that's why you cannot play out here in the forest. What am I supposed to do? Not play in the forest. <laughs> the more I explain it, the more reasonable I think I am being and the more unconscionable your behavior is. You think I'm supposed to just be locked up in the house forever? Yeah, well, you will be a safe little buttery boy. A safe buttery boy? Yeah. <laughs> what if I don't want to be a safe buttery boy? What if I want to be a hard... A hard grizzly, uh, a hard grizzly, like greater, you know, just. I'm not very good at the metaphors. That's not so really coming to my head. That's because I do not allow you to go to school. <laughs> never read a book. I know you've never read a book. Do you say read a book or bread a book? <laughs> I know you've never read a book. And that is for your own safety. The less you know about what's out there, not just in the forest, but beyond, the better. There's terrible things out there, Hugh. Terrible things that you should never have to see with your soft little jelly eyes. <laughs> you know I came from beyond the forest, don't you? I came here already eight months pregnant. And near two months later, you were born. <laughs> Even then, then you wanted to stay in the house. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just stayed in my room forever? <laughs> now I would be <laughs> No more of this fantasizing. You, back in the house. I will discipline you later. Oh. Mother, it's not sexy. <laughs> Mother, I heard Germany. <laughs> Right. Fine, take my flowers. I know this. 
I hate you. <gasps> Do you hear me out there? Yeah. <laughs> Are there beyond the forest? It is better that he hates me than that he should ever lay eyes on you. You will never have him in your arms. <laughs> Even though you are his father. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day to be the greatest florist in all of Otteringburg. There's my daughter, my lovely daughter, light of my life. Oh, hello, Otteringburg. Ah, uh, I see the English boarding school I sent you to has paid off very well indeed. <laughs> Why did you send me away, Daddy? Why? Why? Yeah, I can, I can do flowers and everything. <laughs> I know this. I sent you away to have a fine... Please don't touch me. We don't have that kind of closeness. <laughs> <laughs> you sent me away to boarding school. Ja, Inga. <laughs> I sent you away to have a good education. Be One day... You don't know what it was like. They just made me wash up wearing marigold gloves. And I had to dance around a maypole and do this kind of dancing. <laughs> wearing rubber lederhosen. Because they thought I was a German when I don't seem to be. <laughs> I'd like to be. They made you do traditional English Morris dancing? But wearing German traditional dress? German slappy dancing. Oh, is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to demonstrate on you, but I don't want to slap you, Dad. As well you shouldn't. <laughs> I maintain discipline in this household. Of course you do. I sent you away to become good with numbers and literacy so that you can further the business. I have plans to expand to every corner of Germany. I know you do, Father, but I just want to work in the business. I didn't want to go away. I have to keep you safe, Inga. Oh, how come your hands went up to be broke? How come your hands went up to be broke? I'm sorry, it's been so long. You say the word safe. I to hide my own child. You say you're safe. We you keep you safe. I know from the dangers, keep Inga. You're safe. No, Inga, the forests of Otteringburg. Harbour many dangerous, Inga. But I know the forests. Don't you know that I've been plotting them out in my dreams? <laughs> <laughs> plotting them out in your dreams? <laughs> Please explain further. Well, I go to sleep and every night I see the forest and as you know I can name every tree in the forest. As well you should. Yes. <laughs> And I can see my way through the forest to a path and to a clearing where you know what lives there. What? <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother's here again. <laughs> it's only the Flesham National Orchid. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the Flesham National Orchid. <laughs> Is there it? It does not exist, Inga. It does. It's the rarest plant in the world because there are only two. Inga, my father wasted his life. Searching for the flesh of Nesham Orchid. I will not lose another family member searching for such a ridiculous, nonsensical, yet more beautiful than any other orchid. Flower. <laughs> it will not happen. You will not search for this flower. You will stay here and learn to run the shop. Is that clear? Yes. Inga. Yes, father. There is a customer approaching. <laughs> Shall I knock? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Most kind of you. Put on your happy face. To greet the... I still, I still, I still hate Open you. Open the door. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Come in. Oh, look, it's a beautiful boy and his mother. <laughs> oh, he has such wonderful jelly eyes. <laughs> we wanted to leave the house, so we have come outside. So go back inside now, where we can shut the door, and we will all be safe. He's, he keeps looking at me with his jelly eyes. <laughs> what are you doing? You're upsetting the young lady. Is that a woman? 
one moment, Hugh. Uh, I apologize. My son has not seen the outside world. However, we had a conversation earlier, and then we had an argument, and then we had a further conversation, and then we had another argument, <laughs> and then we had a conversation again, and I agreed that some aspects of the outside world he should see, so that he can see exactly what life entails. Sounds like some most beautiful... <laughs> <laughs> So, he did not realize that there were other women other than me. <laughs> so he's confused right now, okay? Don't take it personally. You have the eyes of the marigold. Oh. You say she has yellow eyes? <laughs> that would be a compliment. You have yellow sickly eyes. <laughs> Come on, Hugh! You have the, you have the eyes of a bluebell. Oh. A carpet of bluebells on the forest floor, except yours wave about less when it's windy. You see? <laughs> she is nailing it, you see. <laughs> There's That's no need to go for the hard sell, okay? Soft sell, soft sell. Come on. Nice jelly eyes. <laughs> Can please continue your interaction with this human woman? <laughs> we would like to purchase um, uh, some, uh, some daisies for our flower patch. Yeah. Well, we've got daisies, haven't we, Father? Of course, tell the customer, I know! <laughs> we've got daisies. What type would you like? There's a brown-eyed daisy. There's the giant daisy. I don't know why we keep them in drawers. <laughs> but we do. This For one. the freshness, Inga, the revolutionary freshness maintaining techniques that I have developed over decades of research! Inga! Yeah! Yeah, you must keep them locked up nice and tight and safe. Yeah! Yes! Look yeah. at the way this one's petals open up like it just wants to be free. Free from the drawers that it is in. Do you know the feeling? I know exactly the feeling. Okay, Hugh, that's long enough now. Oh. There we go, time to put you back in the house. Okay, that's enough for one day. Bye, Hugh. Please do not speak to my boy again and please lower your hand. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful man. Get back into the automobile! <laughs> I apologize for this entire interaction. <laughs> you though, you have my respect. <laughs> if you love something, lock it up. <laughs> Special flower for her. Oh, oh fresh and fresh! I'm having fresh and fresh! I'm having one of my nightmares. Please, I, I just, I just want to sleep. Nightmares, let me sleep. Oh, you sleep so much better if she looks at you again that way she looked at you before. Why don't you pick some flowers for her? Some berry. A special flowers. Flash and flash and the flash and flash and the flash and flash and flash. What flower could be beautiful enough for her? For Inga? Did, did, did you get her name before? It's, it's Inga. Inga. Flash and flash. Go on, 
Daddy, sleep, sleep. I will assume this is a quaint English custom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a house, a house in the forest. Wait, what is He's that? asleep! Yes, of course it can. It's obvious, isn't it? Yes. Could, could 
Would you show me? <laughs> Certainly. Stand there. <laughs> now, you look delicate, but I hope you're not. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. What is this? <gasps> don't, don't freak out, Jenny. I don't freak out. It is traditional German dance. And then you stuff a brat burst down your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Slow down. Okay. So do the that part, that side, this side. And slaps. Oh. <laughs> How old are we? Can we clarify? <laughs> uh, we're like oh. boom, boom. That's quite unusual in the forest, isn't it? <laughs> boom. That's a bluebell. <laughs> a door has opened. <laughs> boom. I think boom. this is where I wanted to take you. <laughs> Can we clarify oh. our age? <laughs> we are ten years old. Oh, okay. Right, just do there then. Oh. Here's the way the Sasha Rafasha Rasharon flower is. <laughs> the Sasha Fasha orchid. The world's most rare flower. <laughs> what is it? on this blue tree. <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks just like a bluebell. Look, there is only one. <laughs> I want to rip it off for you. I want to completely rip it off for you. Surely we should let it grow. Years to grow. <laughs> Thousands of years. Oh, Jenny Alice, did I hear your mother call you Hugh? Yes. Would it be forward of me to call you Hugh? You can call me whatever you like. Oh. All right, Piglet. <laughs> Puppy? No. Pumpkin? No. Shlevel chops? Uh, sh short arm. Sauerkraut? <laughs> Call me Hugh. 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 No, no, Hugh. My dream is that all the plants, all the trees will protect them. We'll show them exactly. Show the plant love. You mean water it? Of course I mean water it. <laughs> Colors. I was like a tiny bumblebee. I landed on him and I, I sort of thrust into him. And then I was covered in his sweet sticky pollen. And then Come to, to me, bumblebee. It's you I want. And then ten months later, you were born, my, my little unusual boy. Bluebell King, ah. please. I've just tried to keep him safe ever since you took took his little friend away. Oh. And 
now it was you in the form of a wolf. <laughs> and you've got all of your, your flowers here in the forest, all of them howl whenever you ask them to. And they all think they're wolves, but they're not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying maybe wolves are actually flowers, but if you've got something, you go with it. Wait, you, you killed you? No, I have to. Sorry, you're you. No, sorry. Hans, Hans. Yeah, yeah, Hans. You killed Hans? Yes. To bring you close. It didn't work, but I got you in the end. What? Everybody thinks I'm buttery and weak. Oh. But now that you killed my friend Hans. I love you. Now, I'm going to go and fuck this tree to death. <laughs> 